Yo guys, welcome to part three, I think, of the, of the boat. So, here she is. Do you see in the last part, it's in the exact same thing. We haven't done anything else to it since then. We've, right now we've got to sand all of the inside with the grinder, which shouldn't be too time consuming. Um, and then we've got to sand all of the filler out, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully we can uh, give her a lick of paint today or a lick of undercoat and then another, and then a lick of paint, but that won't be today the paint, just the undercoat. So anyway, enough of me blabbering on. Let's start sanding the owl. done a bit of the back where the sand and pad keeps flying off because of um, this bit's peeling and need to put a new one on but I don't know how to do it so we're just gonna start sanding out the inside with the grinder yo sorry I didn't record this guys but um we painted the boat with the outer, outer coat which looked absolutely lovely uh, we were fishing and Dan did it while we were gone which is absolutely amazing of him so Cheers to him. It looks stunning. Um, gunnels are done. So we've just got to grind all the inside. Um, as you can see. And then, we've done a little bit, but... And then, put the front hatch in. And, yeah. She's looking beautiful. Yo, sorry for not posting sooner. Uh, because I couldn't record this because of... It was just every time I tried to record and the camera got clogged and oh, it's just rubbish. Anyway, we cut the front hatch. There's a new little hatch we got from Dave Saber for 35 quid. He said he bought it for 90, so that's a bargain. Um, yeah, we just, sat, sat, everyone's just sanded out. Um, and the front hatch is cut out already. So all we got to do now is gel the inside. Um paint the out uh the anti-foul and the water line and just all the other little bits like railings and cleats and stuff so yeah Ooh. charlie's wiping all the acetone I to get all the crap off it so the paint sticks to it better he's doing quite a good job and i've got the job of taking all the bits out and hoovering every single little bit in there which is fine with the wet vac champ this engine's the one that's going on the boat. Oh uh, yeah, it'll get redder because you're taking all the powder and stuff off it, ain't it? You got all oh, the cover fart oh, out. Lip. Oh well, you'll be alright. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll hoover all this out now. All right, we're just chucking all the random bits and Charlie, and he's gonna chuck them in the bin first. There you Hopefully go. Hopefully, don't get a bunch of asbestos in my mouth. Yeah, you, we probably should have masks, but we're not standing here or anything, so. Oh, I got a splinter. Oh, you already got some on me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Alright, this is probably going to take about three years, learning, but we'll be back in three years. Now we've cleared all of the rubbish. Looking pretty good. We just got to hoover this, and Charlie's got to wipe it. Oh, no. Yes, Alright guys, we've got the boat all masked up, ready for a cheeky coat, uh, cheeky coat of anti-coat. So, there you go, she's all ready. She's very clean on the inside, don't look it, but it is. Oh, forgot to do the corner. Anyway, let's get painting. Itching for the rest of my life. Probably hopefully over your month. Yeah. Get a bit of paint on there, guys. 
silver bolts and he's out. I'm doing roller in on the paint line and this guy's doing <laughs> and I'm doing painting on the paint line, he's using the roller. Look at this oh my fella guy. <laughs> Charlie's getting some paint ready. Yeah, got my paint <laughs> All paint rolled up. I'm so sorry. And we're just going to roll it carefully. <laughs> this guy. He's <laughs> so got sorry. paint in his hair and everything. <laughs> oh, do I, damn. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably an awful shot. Hello, everyone. Sorry I didn't show you me peeling the tape off on that. And look also the inside. <laughs> Looking beautiful. Um, yeah, we didn't do, we didn't show you doing the inside because I wasn't here and the anti file we showed you a bit of obviously, but I didn't show the tape off because Charlie P was getting very messy, so, you know, but anyway, she's looking lovely. I think we're going to need some more grey, um, gel coat, so, I think it's Floco actually, but yeah, so, I'll show you some more updates very soon. Wait. You don't want me. What's up, Unreal. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Is it working? Right back, right back, right back, right back. Right 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 He's finally back, guys. I'm back. I was ill, but not anymore. Yeah, uh, it'll. It's fiddle. It's only been two years, but he's back. I think we need another, um, I think we need Jack Martin back on the channel for a video. Yeah. Okay. He's a very naughty boy. That's all wiped down. <laughs> we've quick done this. That's that. Now we're putting the front bits on. Alright guys, we're just getting the, um, Allen key, uh, the Allen key bits on with the front roller. Got from Dave Severe. Legend. Um, Alex is inside of the, um, the cozy little shelter. <laughs> we need to clean it. It's looking pretty manky. Yeah. Oh, I need to get that before it falls. There he is. Let's get these nuts and bolts on. All right, guys. It's Alex in the front of the uh, project. And Riley is up there. I'm holding this. He's tightening it to put the uh, front roller bit on. So yeah, it's a bit dirty, isn't it? but clean that out. But yeah, I'm just doing this. Um, quite cozy, isn't it? Hi. Uh, no, nah, not quite. Right. Right. Quite tight now. That's all done, guys. Woo! Next one. We got it on now, guys. We got um this thing on. Alex brought it around the other day. It's pretty good. Yeah. Like that. And the front eyelet's also on. Really, really finicky, so we couldn't really record. Oh no, not front eyelet. The um the eye to the tie. We got these little metal plates in, so this doesn't pop out when you're doing it. Okay. And. The new island down there. Turn the boat, so uh, everyone's going banging. Come on! Apple one. Cleat. Cleat number one. And then we've got cleat number two coming on scene, so she looking good. Here, what a huge rock star. Hi guys, a little update on the boat. We've got a cleat here. Cleat's up there. I think I've already showed you guys. Can't remember though, so we've got a front cleat in. Sounds. Um. We dump, uh, drilled out in there, we got a little hatch in there. It's actually really clean there, we thought there was going to be water, but there wasn't anything. We brought, uh, there it is, a bung, brass bung, 12 quid m &G. and we also re andy it around there because the paint had gone through the old gel coat from when the previous owner, Captain Damer, um, gelled over the andy foul and it rose, so, yeah, but... It's looking good, so we shall see you 
in part three now. It's going to be... No, this is part three. Part four. Part four. We'll see you in part four, which will be in a week or two. It should, it should be should be posted by next weekend or maybe a little bit later when, when she's up for sale. So stay tuned and watch Aggie Dog Fishing content. And you can see this boat be done very shortly. Have a good one.